subscribe and click the like icon. Oh, hi Junior Ranger Kai. How's it going? Hi Leo. Not too well. My smell collecting capsule was stolen! Stolen? Yes, I just collected the precious smell of a super rare animal. I haven't stored it in my database, and now it's gone! I'll never be able to collect that smell again! Never! I'm sorry to hear that, Kai. Do you know who stole your smell collecting capsule? I took a photo of the thief before it got away. Here, I'll send it to you. I think it's a squirrel. I don't think that's a squirrel, Kai. But I can look for more information about the thief on my computer. Thanks, Katie. You guys gotta come over and help me find my capsule. Don't worry, Kai. We'll find out who stole it and get your capsule back. Hi, Kai. Hi, guys. I'm so glad you're here to help. I can't wait to get my capsule back. It wasn't a squirrel that took your capsule. It was a Siberian chipmunk. A Siberian chipmunk? What should we do now, guys? It's not like the chipmunk is going to fall out of the sky. Ow! Look! Is that the Siberian chipmunk we're looking for? Hmm... I don't see Kai's capsule on it. Maybe it's hiding it somewhere. Let me check. I see my capsule! It's in its mouth! In its mouth? It looks like we're right, Katie. The Siberian chipmunk must have mistaken the capsule for food. We'll have to lure it down the tree without scaring it off. That's the last one I've got. I hope this works. Yes, it's working. Come closer, chipmunk. Come closer. Uh, the chipmunk isn't eating the food. It's stuffing the food in its mouth. Whoa, its cheeks are growing. I wonder if that's normal. It's gonna blow! Huh? Popcorn? Oops. Sorry, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> Don't worry, Kai. The chipmunk is not going to explode. <clears throat> like other chipmunks, Siberian chipmunks carry food in their cheek pouches, and their cheeks can expand up to three times the size of their heads. Would you like some salt and butter-free popcorn? Sure, Ranger Rocky. Thanks. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. The chipmunk is here. Hi there. We don't mean you any harm. You have a capsule in your cheek that belongs to my friend. It's very precious to him, and it's definitely not food. Can you return it to us? Not an acorn, a capsule. Not a blueberry. <laughs> not a nut. This is going to be a tough nut to crack. <laughs> Hero? Activate. Hover boots activate. It's over there. I just want my capsule back. We've got you now, Chipmunk. Aha! Ah, where is it? Hey, come back, Chipmunk. Look, it went into that burrow! I'll see what it's doing underground. What do you see, Kai? I see a tunnel. Wait, there's the chipmunk. It's taking my capsule out of its cheek. I think I can reach it with my grappler. Ah! Ants! Abort! Abort! Ew! Yuck! What's wrong, Kai? I have to get close enough to reach inside the burrow with my grappler. But there are ants there. I don't like ants. That's okay, Kai. I'll help you. Cool beans. I'll direct you with my goggles. Wow, this is cool. Just press this button to activate the grappler. Press this button. <laughs> Oops. Now let's aim for the burrow. Got it. I'll guide you with my goggles. 
Aha! A little to the left. Uh, now to the right. Go straight and grab! You got it, Leo! Thank you, guys. I couldn't have done it without your help. My smell collecting capsule is back. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. Exciting news. I just discovered a completely new breed of animal. It has the bill and web feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. Wow, that does sound very unusual. I'm going to name it the Kylosaurus. It disappeared before I could get a picture. Oh, wait. There it is again. I'm going to try to take a photo of my amazing discovery and send it to you. Except it's not called a Kylosaurus. It's a duck-billed platypus with a duck's bill, webbed feet, a furry body like an otter, and a beaver's tail. That's like three different animals in one. Or one very strange looking animal. It's a platypus. Platypus. Sorry, Kyle. It's not a new animal after all. Oh, man. Hey, guys. I think the Kylosaurus, I mean the platypus, wants me to follow it. What is it, buddy? You want to show me something? But my ATV can't go into the water. But our Jeep, the Platypus One, can. Sounds like the Platypus needs help. Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over. On it. See you guys soon. Ranger out. No worries. They'll be here soon. That's them. In their very own Platypus. Hey, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime, Kyle. All right, buddy. Lead the way. Wow, it's quick! Then we better keep up. Platypus 1, activate. Hey, where's the platypus? Look, it's over there. It just went underwater for a bit. Let's follow that platypus. Hi, hi, Captain. Hey, it stopped. What's it doing to that tree trunk? It looks like it's trying to get to something behind it. What's behind the tree, little buddy? I bet that the platypus is trying to get to her young inside her burrow. Ranger Rocky! Rocky! The fallen tree must be blocking the entrance to her burrow. That's why she needs our help. Let's hook that tree to platypus one and get it out of the way. Ranger Rocky, do you think you can help us with the winch? Of course, Junior Rangers. I'll help, too. Stand clear. Look, there really was a burrow there. We did it. I hope everything is OK in there. Good thinking, Hero. Now let's see where she went. Baby platypuses! We did it! We reunited the platypus family! The platypus has got to be one of the strangest creatures ever! I just wish I had discovered it first. Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you'll discover an animal that's just as cool. Guys, do you see that? Is it a worm? Is it a bug? I think it might be a new species. I'm going to call it the Kyla Pilla. <laughs> huh? What's that on the road? Oh, no! The cars! Be careful! Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. There's an animal stuck in the middle of the road, and cars are moving by really fast. It looks like some type of scaly reptile. I need your help to save it. We'll be right over, Zari. Please, hurry. Ranger out. Ranger out. We have to go right now. Don't worry. I'm here, and I won't take my eyes off you. Hello? Oh, 
Yes, Mommy. Uh, got it, Mommy. <gasps> oh, no! Where did it go? What did you find out about the reptile, Katie? It's not a reptile, Leo. The animal Zari found is a Sunda pangolin. It's a mammal, and one of the few known to be covered in scales from head to toe. Pangolins are nocturnal, shy, and solitary. A shy mammal with scales? Cool! Hi, Zari. Hi, Zari. The animal on the road is a Sunda pangolin. Yeah, about that. I, um, lost it. Oh, no. It must be around here somewhere. Let's spread out and search. Jetpack activate. activate. Time to roll. Where are you, pangolin? Great idea, hero. Now let's see if we can spot the pangolin. <gasps> there it is! I see it! <gasps> the pangolin turned into a ball? We need to get it off the road quick! I can dash out and pick it up! No! It's too dangerous, Zari! I've got another idea. I'll swoop down and grab the pangolin. Katie, Zari, tell me when there are no cars. Be careful, Leo. I'm ready. Wait for it. Wait. And now. I'm coming for you, Pangolin. No, Leo. A car is coming. Fly back up. Ah. Whoa. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. You're safe now, Leo. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. But the Pangolin is still stuck in the middle of the road. Something's wrong with it, Ranger Rocky. It turned into a ball. Don't worry, Junior Rangers. That's the pangolin's way of protecting itself. But are pangolin scales tough enough to protect it from being run over by a car? Definitely not. However, you need to find a solution that doesn't put you in danger. I know what to do, Ranger Rocky. We can use the jetpack. I'll use my tablet to control the jetpack from here. We won't have to go out onto the road at all. Excellent idea, Katie. Okay, Katie, let's do this. And activate. Watch out for that car. Another one's coming your way. Almost got you, Pangolin. <gasps> car! I see it. Gotcha, Pangolin. Whoa! Don't let it fall. Phew. That was close. It's okay, Pangolin. You're safe now. What's that smell? Ugh. Yuck! It's so bad! That's coming from the pangolin. Pangolins produce a foul smell as a form of defense. The pangolin must still be afraid. What else can we do to make it feel safe again? Let's give the pangolin some space. Look! The pangolin is uncurling! Goodbye, pangolin! Stay safe! Don't cross any more roads! Ah, the flowers smell lovely today. You should get a whiff of them too, Leo. Ugh, what's that smell? And I don't mean the flowers, Katie. It's coming from over there. Hero! Stay, Hero. Good boy. When was the last time Hero had a bath? I think it was... Hmm... Um, oops. <laughs> I don't remember. Come on, Hero. It's bath time. <laughs> Hero, come back. You need a bath. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's new? Hi, Leo. I'm updating my smell collection. I've been collecting different smells of animals and plants to use as smell bombs. Wow, sounds awesome. It is. I'd like to add the smell of a red panda to my collection. I hear its smell is so strong, it will chase everyone away. But I don't know where to find one. I was hoping you guys could come over to help me. Of course, Kai. We'd be glad to help. Hi, Hi Kai. Kai. <laughs> Hi, guys. This 
is the perfect spot to begin our search. There's bamboo everywhere. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? A uh, hero hasn't had a bath in a while. <laughs> well, it's a very strong smell. I've never smelled anything like it. I must have it for my collection. How does it work, Kai? I'll show you. That's the smell collecting capsule. See the blinking light? That means the capsule is collecting the smell. And that means the smell is collected. Now I'm going to put the capsule in my device and store hero smell in my database. Done! Ta-da! A hero smell bomb! Wow! Ugh, that's hero smell, all right. I also have the smell of a bird, a chipmunk, an acorn, everything. Well, you have a cool smell bomb collection to help you. Speaking of smells, we should really begin our search for the red pandas. <laughs> Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? We're helping Kai look for red pandas so he can collect their smell. But we don't know where to start. Like skunks, red pandas release a strong smell to drive others away when they are afraid. I believe that's the stink Kai is looking for. Good idea, Hero. We can trace a red panda by the smell it leaves behind. But the forest is huge! If only we had a way to scan the entire forest. Look no further! I have just that! I can't believe I didn't think of it earlier! I'll use my smell detection vision to find the red pandas! Got it! Over there, guys! Bye, Ranger Rocky! I need to get that installed in my glasses! Good luck, Junior Rangers! The smell is strongest here! It's a red panda! Cool beans! Time to get it stink! <gasps> it's headed this way! <gasps> oh, man! It's your new smell bomb! An earthworm! I already have that one! I just want the red panda stink! What if we tried getting closer to it? Jetpack, activate! Hey, wait for me! Hover boots, activate! It's just sleeping. How can we get it to release its stink? Ranger Rocky did mention that the red pandas release their strong smell when they're afraid. <laughs> Hero, it's not right to frighten the red panda like that. But do you smell that? It worked! That's the smell I'm looking for! Be careful, Kai. Yes! The red panda stink has been successfully added to my collection. Huh? That doesn't sound right. Mm, not again. Oh, a baby otter! Oh, it's so cute! Are you alone? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari! Hi, Leo! Look at what I found! It's a baby otter! But this baby otter is all alone! Oh, no! It must be lost! We have to get it back to its family! Don't worry, Zari! We'll be right over! Ranger out! Ranger out! Let's hurry over to Zari. Don't be afraid, Baby Otter. Where's your family? I don't see them anywhere. Huh? Ah! Oh, no! Oh, it's okay. Otters are good swimmers, right? The baby will be fine if it falls into the water? Um, maybe not. Smooth-coated otter pups rely on their mothers to protect and care for them. The mama otter feeds her babies milk and teaches them how to swim. Oh, no. What if this baby otter hasn't learned to swim yet? We can't take any chances. 
I'll try to grab it from here. Uh, Wait, Zari. Don't touch it with your bare hands. Or the otter mom might not take it back later. Oh, no! It doesn't look like it can swim at all. I'll save it. Don't worry. I'll get it. Jetpack, activate. Come on, baby otter. Gotcha. Whew. That was close. Drink up, little one. So... How are we going to find the baby otter's family? Hello, <gasps> Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! What do you have in your hand? It's an empty carrier. I just completed an animal rescue mission. Why do you have a baby otter? It's lost, Ranger Rocky. We have to find its family. Now let's get this baby otter back to its family. This is one of the locations Ranger Lee mentioned. Do you see any otters? Yes, otters! That way! Hurry, everyone! What is it, Hero? Oh, look! There's another otter family over there! Huh? So which family does the baby otter belong to? Oh, no! Why are they fighting? This looks like a territorial fight. We need to stop the fight! I'm afraid we shouldn't interfere, Junior Rangers. It's not safe, and we might cause more injury. Then what should we do, Ranger Rocky? We'll just have to wait for things to cool down and try finding the baby otter's family later. This is another location where the otters might be. <gasps> otters! Over there! Okay, Junior Rangers. We'll let the baby out here. Let's wait at the side to make sure the family finds it. I don't think the otter family can hear its squeaks. They're moving further away from the baby. Let me help! Check it out, Junior Rangers. It's the otter, Mom! Goodbye, baby otter. Grow up big and strong. Don't get lost again. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I'm bird watching. We have to be really quiet and invisible, or we'll scare the birds away. It's an owl. And it's fast asleep. Hey, there's some movement in those leaves. I think it's some kind of cat. But I've never seen a cat with fur like that before. <laughs> How strange. This cat sounds just like a bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, Leo. That cat sure looks cute. Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. All right, I'm coming up. So, did you find out what kind of cat it is? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The animal you found is actually a South African cheetah. And it's a cub, which means it's still young. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world. The cheetah is built for speed. It has a light, slender body and long, flexible legs. But even though the cheetah is a fast runner, it gets tired quickly after chasing prey. Chasing prey? They eat other animals? Cheetahs feed on small to medium-sized animals, such as hares, birds, and antelopes. But the one you found is still a cub, so it needs milk from its mother. A mother cheetah also protects her cubs from predators and teaches them how to hunt. By the way, South African cheetahs live in deserts and grasslands in South Africa. And the one you found comes from this place. Hmm. The cheetah cub needs to be with its mother to get milk and learn how to hunt. We should return it to its home in South Africa. Come and join us. 
Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the savannah, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought along a cheetah cub with you today. Make sure you watch over your little friend. Cheetahs are a vulnerable species. This means they are in danger of disappearing forever. Many cheetahs lose their homes to people who take their land to build and farm. Cheetahs are also hunted illegally for their fur. On top of that, cheetahs, especially cheetah cubs, are stolen from their homes to be sold as illegal pets. That's terrible! We'll make sure our cheetah cub stays safe. Ranger Rocky, we're trying to return the cheetah cub to its mother. Do you know where we should look? Find the cheetah cub's brothers and sisters and you'll find its mother. A mother cheetah normally has three to six cheetah cubs, which she hides in thick clumps of grass. You should look out for bushes or tall grass with the sound of chirping. Cheetah cubs make calls that sound like bird chirps. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What? The Jeep stopped working. I think the engine is overheated. We'll have to walk. Cheetah Cub! After them! It's no use. They're too fast. If only we could run as fast as the cheetah. We can't run as fast as a cheetah, but we certainly can fly as fast as one. That's a great idea. Come on, everyone. Let's get the cheetah cub back. I can't get the cheetah cub out of the net unless we slow down. Hero, I need your help. <laughs> Gotcha, Cheetah Cub. No more hunting for these guys. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Excellent work, Junior Rangers. You've saved the Cheetah Cub. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the Cheetah Cub's family, you have to look for rustling grass. Good luck! <laughs> What's this? The grass is moving, and there are chirping sounds. Those are cheetah cubs, and there's their mother. This must be our cheetah cubs family. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the cheetah cubs family. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! a South African cheetah in our garden. We learned that cheetahs are the fastest animals on land and that young cheetah cubs need to be with their mother. So we went to the savanna and brought the cheetah cub back to its family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I found, Hero. It's our frisbee. Do you want to play? Catch! Good job, Hero. One more time. Catch! Oh, hello. You can run really fast. Where do you come from? It looks like a deer. I wonder how it ended up in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. Hi, Leo. It looks like a young deer. That's what I thought, too. Can you find more information about it? Yes, I can. Great. I'm coming up. What did you find out? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a young reindeer. And because it's young, it's a reindeer calf. A reindeer? Aren't reindeer the animals that pull Santa Claus's sleigh? 
Yes, the very same. Reindeer are found in Northern Europe, North America, Greenland, and Asia. They live in the mountains, woodlands, or the tundra. The tundra? The tundra is a large and mostly flat land. It's a very cold place that is often covered in snow. Almost no trees grow in the tundra. To find food like grass and small plants, reindeer will travel long distances to colder regions during summer and travel to warmer regions during winter. This traveling is called migration. Reindeer can travel up to 5,000 kilometers a year. It helps that reindeer can run very fast. A baby reindeer can start running within 90 minutes of its birth. However, sick reindeer, older reindeer, and calves are often easy targets for predators like eagles, wolves, and lions. This is because they are not as fast as a healthy young adult reindeer. Mother reindeer usually travel closely with their young when they migrate. This reindeer calf must have been separated from its mother. We should take it back. Come and join us. Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. I see you've made a new friend, a young reindeer. We think it might have been separated from its mother. You just missed its herd, Junior Rangers. A group of reindeer is called a herd, and its mother should be in that herd. It left the woodlands this morning for the much cooler north. How can reindeer survive in the cold? Reindeer have fur with two coat layers. The undercoat is soft wool that stays close to their skin, while the outer coat is made up of long and hollow hairs that trap body heat. Reindeer have a strong sense of smell, too, which allows them to find food in the snow. How can reindeer walk and run on snow, Ranger Rocky? Reindeer have four toes on each foot called hooves. When a reindeer walks on snow, its hooves spread out wide to support its weight and help it walk steadily. The sharp edges of the hooves give reindeer a good grip on icy or rocky surfaces. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Oh no! The reindeer has jumped into the water! Don't worry, Leo. Reindeer can swim very well. They often swim during migration. Let's follow it. Hmm, the reindeer has slowed down. What happened? It says here that reindeer calves may not have enough strength to swim across a river as wide as this one. Ah. Oh no, what ah. can we ah. do? I know. Let's use this rope to pull the reindeer in. Here goes. Oh no, the water is moving too strong here. You got it, hero. Well done. Phew, that was close. You saved its life, Hero. Okay, Hero, to find the young reindeer's herd, you have to look for a grassland near a hill. Good luck. How about here? Is this a grassland near a hill? Yes, it is. And there is the reindeer's herd. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look! That reindeer must be the calf's mother. The bond between a mother reindeer and her calf is so strong that they can recognize each other by smell. We did it! We found the reindeer's herd and mother. Good job, everyone! Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Those are juggling balls, Hero. Check me out. Can you pass me another ball, Hero? Thank you. 
This is getting difficult. Ah! Oh dear. Let's find those balls, Hero. It's a lizard. Whoa, that's a strong tail. I wonder what kind of lizard it is. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, lizard. So what did you find about the lizard? This lizard is a green iguana, also known as the common iguana. Some green iguanas come in different colors, and they can change their color when they get older. The green iguana you found is still young. An adult iguana can grow up to two meters long. Green iguanas are herbivores. They feed on leafy green plants, flowers, and fruits. Green iguanas can be found in rainforests of Central, South America, and the Caribbean. Green iguanas like to spend most of their time in trees. When they are high up in the tree, they can enjoy the sunlight. Sunlight helps them control their body temperature. Then we should bring our new friend back to the trees in the rainforest. The green iguana would love that, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Hit subscribe and click the like icon I think this is a good spot for the green iguana Enjoy, iguana! Look up there, Leo! It's a hawk! One of the green iguana's predators! Let's use our propellers and distract the hawk! Oh no! Great move, green iguana! Its tail came off! Now let's get away from here! Poor iguana! Don't worry, Leo. Sometimes green iguanas drop their tails when they are trying to escape from a predator. This might help them get away. The iguana will even grow a new tail. Really? That's great to hear, Katie. Where should we go now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Green iguanas like to be near water, so they can easily jump into it to escape from predators. So if you want to find a home for the green iguana, just look for a tree branch that hangs above water. I see. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the green iguana, you have to look for a tree branch that hangs above water. Good luck. We found the green iguana's home. Great work, everybody. Yay! Yay! a green iguana in our garden. We learned that green iguanas like to stay high up in trees to enjoy the sunlight. We also learned that green iguanas like to live near water. So when there's danger, they can escape by jumping into the water. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. From. Are those monkeys? Whoa, you guys are fast. Oh, a bridge? Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Hi, Leo. I was practicing my music in the forest when I saw these monkeys. Oh, I've never seen those before. 
Let's look up more information about them on the computer. It's a Raffles Banded Langer, also known as the Banded Leaf Monkey or Banded Surly. Raffles Banded Langers are arboreal creatures, which means they spend most of their lives living high up in the trees. How come I've never seen them before? That's because there are only about 60 of these langers left in Singapore. Only 60? Huh? <gasps> oh no! Are you all right, Zari? I'm okay, but one of the langers got left behind. We need to do something. Hang on, Zari. We're on our way. Ranger out. Let's go help the young langer. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Leo, Katie, this way, hurry! Oh, sorry, Hero. You have to stay here. Huh? Why? Dogs aren't allowed in nature reserves. It's dangerous, and they might affect the animals living there. <coughs> Don't worry, Hero. We'll be right back. <coughs> there! The young Langer is stuck all alone. Don't worry, Langer. We'll save you. Jetpack, activate! I see you! There you are! Got you now! Ow! He <laughs> thinks you're trying to play tag with him, Leo. Huh? Hero, you're not supposed to be in the nature reserve. Well, technically he's in the air. <sighs> Let's get back to helping the young Langer. Busy befriending that young Langer, Leo? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. I was out collecting animal poop samples for research when I saw you trying to help the young Langer. The bridge collapsed and we want to bring him back to his family safely. That's the right idea. Raffles banded Langers are listed as critically endangered in Singapore. With very few of them left in the wild, we should do all we can to keep them safe. I heard that call when I was playing my music. Oh, I must have scared them. Sorry, Langers. Oh no! The cars have scared away the family! I guess fixing the bridge is the best solution! Let's do it! Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate! On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Just a little bit more! We did it! Good job, Junior Rangers. Now, let me reinforce the beam and then give the Langer some space. Copy that, Ranger Rocky. Come on, guys. Look, the young Langer is back. You can do it, buddy. His family's back, too. Oh, no, another car. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Way to go, hero. The bridge is fixed. And now the Langers can move around safely again. So long, buddy. Bye-bye. Mission accomplished. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look at all these fishes. That one over there is a goldfish. I'll try to catch it. Don't worry, Hero. I'll put it back later. There! I got it! So this is a goldfish. It's a very popular fish to keep as a pet. Okay, Hero. I'll put the goldfish back in the water now. Here goes. Whoa! It's a baby dolphin. It just ate the goldfish. I wonder how the dolphin got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. 
She is also a junior ranger. Now look here, baby dolphin. Katie, are you there? Hi, Leo. I received the photo. What an adorable dolphin. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. What did you find? Hi, Leo. Almost there. This dolphin is a bottlenose dolphin. A bottlenose dolphin? Yes, a bottlenose. There are many types of dolphins, but the bottlenose dolphin is the best known. These dolphins can be found in warm and temperate seas worldwide. Dolphins have large brains, and they are very intelligent. I see. By the way, this baby dolphin ate a goldfish from our pond. Hmm. Normally, dolphins eat small fish and other small sea creatures. But this dolphin is still very young, so it might still need milk from its mother. Dolphins stay with their mothers for several years. Hmm. I guess it must be hungry then. We should bring it home back to its mother. Come and join us. That's great, Leo. See you downstairs. Turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. I think we may be able to find the dolphin's mother here. <laughs> you must be excited to see the ocean again. Oh, look, a boat. <laughs> look. I think Baby Dolphin wants to play with the waves created by the boat. Correct. That's because bottlenose dolphins like to surf and ride on waves produced by boats or big animals. Be careful, Junior Rangers. There might be fishing boats that come out to sea to hunt for dolphins. Oh no! It looks like the boat is really going after the dolphin. The baby dolphin isn't fast enough to escape. We need to save her. Watch out! The fishing boat has a weapon. They're aiming at you, dolphin. Whoops! Careful, dolphin. You almost got hit. Ranger Rocky! That was close. Children, hurry and escape with the dolphin while I confront the fishing boat. Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Okay, Hero, to find the mother of the bottlenose dolphin, you have to look far into the sea. Good luck! We did it! We found the baby dolphin's mother! Hooray! Yay! found a baby dolphin in our pond today. We learned that the dolphin is a bottlenose dolphin. So we went to the sea and found its mother so it can be safe again. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. <laughs>